Hello there and welcome back to my YouTube channel and to today's video all about how to pass your upcoming advanced taxation exam if you failed before. Well, I'm delighted to be joined by the lovely Shayla who will take you through now her advanced taxation journey going from failing it before it's all right but then going on to getting an absolutely fantastic score and passing and we're going to go through some of those tips today so Shayla walk and talk us through what's your advanced taxation sort of story first of all thank you for inviting me it's been is a pleasure again um here I am talking about like um failing uh and then a pass yes <laughs> uh what a two different uh, feelings i would start with um when you fail you feel like it's the end of the world yeah. uh, at first it's like oh my goodness I spent so many hours yeah. um hours that were you know could be joining you know really enjoying with family you know mm. you kind of feel like oh my maybe i'm wasting time with this yeah. with this paper what am i doing like, here? and what am i doing should i change paper you know you start you first thing is you start panicking mm. like am i ever gonna pass yeah. this paper is there a light at the end of the tunnel is there a light you know and then the first thing you need to do is breathe um mm. think about how many people are in the same situation it's mm. not the end of the world and acca give you give you gives you the, the chance of doing it again so mm. you just have to say well let me take a break maybe a week or so yeah and uh, if I failed, just just analyze what has gone wrong or could have gone wrong, what you could have done differently. Um, sometimes you kind of like uh, start saying, oh, but I've done everything I could, but mm. I actually revised. And to be honest, we have if we are not honest to, to ourselves, we always know what we we're doing wrong. Mm. Um, sometimes it's over optimistic maybe you have that over optimistic feeling yeah. sometimes you 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 don't you're not dedicating enough hours sometimes you know it's just that you need uh, some guidance um on how to tackle maybe a mock uh, consider a mock yeah definitely so, uh, definitely uh it, there's hope <laughs> the first thing i would say <laughs> well well we'll add some context for for the viewers on here that uh when I first did advanced taxation, I got 43. And when I opened the text message or the email or whatever it was, my heart sank and I'm there going, oh, my word, all those hours, all those weekends, all those classes. How am I ever going to come back from this? I thought I'd literally given it my all. And then thankfully, on the next sitting, I passed it with 64. And I was like, going, oh, my word, what, what was the change in that? But what about your number, Shayla? How did you get on? Yeah, well, um, I failed with a 46 and I felt like it was the end of the world. Um, <laughs> I just literally said, oh, my goodness, um, I, I really thought I passed this time. Mm. You know, you know, when you you have that feeling, oh, I've done this, I've done that, you know, this came and I was so ready. I was so engaged and still I did not pass. So I'm oh, like, no. what is missing? Because I think I know the syllables from bottom to, you know, the top. And um, I, I just had to kind of do a step back. And, and then when I did, mm. I got a 67. So, <laughs> so <laughs> but I had to, to do a few things differently. Do you know? Do you want to know what I've done differently? The, the viewers that they've got pen and paper <laughs> at the body. Go on, Shayla. Walk and talk yeah. us through it. Go on. So I think first thing I did is like I I kept believing myself, um, and I said, well, if I got forty six, um, and I, and there will be people having less than that, and mm -hmm. people having forty nine, you know. You just need to analyze your scenario. If you got 25, of course, you need more, more uh, dedication, basically. But if you got 46, uh, don't underestimate, don't, don't just say, well, if I got 46, then I'm probably just need to do a couple of questions. Mm. And that's it. That's not always the, the case. Oh. 
<laughs> that's probably one you need to work harder because if your knowledge is there and you didn't manage to pass this time, it means that you actually need to basically um, do that step forward, like that additional engagement, additional judgment. Yeah, going that um, extra yard, isn't it? Yes. So because you don't want to you don't want to go to the exam again and come with the feeling that you you actually done but you're not sure so you want to come out of the exam with with the security of that you've done your best yeah and you don't want to be on that feeling of uh, maybe I'll pass but maybe with a 50 with a so you this that this is the time that you've got the opportunity to actually aspire and make a difference because you just have to push a bit more yeah uh you need to dedicate more hours with it with, with need... some structure on there as exactly. well i think and working working smarter on it because when you look at that you people who are watching this will have that advanced taxation book in front of them it'll yeah. be a door wedge it's that thick it can hold a door out so yeah. It's breaking down, I found really helpful when, and to give you to give the viewers some context that Shayla reached out to me online and said, James, I just need a bit of help. Can you give me some structure on it? And the first thing that we did was we broke up all of the syllabus areas into sort of just separate folders, revision flick cards, and it just goes such a long way that when you see an income tax question or you see a corporation tax question, you go, right, in my mind, I'm pulling out that folder, all that knowledge that's in there, and then collating all of your work that you're going through. So any past papers you've got to be doing, reading the technical articles you've got to be doing, and then really having a good core understanding of the syllabus that you can actually describe it and actually talk about it to someone else who is not a tax expert. <laughs> I thought it was a really good strategy on there. But uh, what, what do you think from how you went about it, Shayla? I think uh, adding on top of what you just said, uh, having a mock uh, marked yeah. by some mm. some expert, you know, uh, someone that actually knows what takes to to pass, uh, makes a huge difference because sometimes it's just the way you are answering. The knowledge is there, but uh, you might not get a mark because it's just the way you are actually tackling. Mm. So a mock, it sometimes can be a bit expensive, you know, depending on you know you know in terms of money if it's going to be possible for you but if you can definitely don't underestimate the 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 um the value the value of the it value yeah. of, of, I, of a mock um, I, I agree with you i think that was one of the reasons why i failed it first time that i was answering the question how i wanted to answer it not how it was being asked in the requirement so picking up on some of the the key words that they were using maybe um, crystallized or and actually another technique that i used was and, and i know you implemented as well was actually writing down the company or individual's name because then that started to focus my writing a lot more and i was writing sentences that i knew were going to get marked versus just creating sort of waffle and and filling the page I think on there as well yeah understanding the scenario is the first starting point so if you don't understand the scenario hmm. then you, you're not answering the question and understanding the question is also another yeah. thing that I would like touch base because you know it took me quite a long time to actually understand what they were looking for because yeah. I would to marry that you know relationship between the scenario and the question I was like um i think i'm lost that i'm not sure what they're mm. actually asking but that this, that's why you need to practice questions that's what you you know from the moment you start really doing the questions and making mistakes completely because, agree yeah because people that do tend to make oh maybe i'm gonna you know make a mistake or you know my answer is gonna come out completely wrong that's when you start learning yeah so make mistakes yeah. make lots of mistakes james used to say to me you know make as many mistakes now <laughs> because you don't want to make them in the exam yeah so and and then if you have someone to mark your paper that's fine but if you don't that's not a problem you go back write read the answer mm. uh you know from the answer that um you can find in ACCO in the in or in the textbooks the 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 the, the um, 
on the free resources online free resources yeah, online I agree, I agree with you yeah and then asking yourself when you're going through the past papers a really good technique to use is actually asking yourself questions about what's in front of you so first usual questions are right what reporting periods are we dealing with what is the year end do we have an individual what type of tax are we dealing with and before you know it you're starting to put those pieces of the jigsaw together and then there will be little gaps that you go, oh, I'm not sure about that, I'm not sure about that sort of standard. But there are always going to be little gaps in knowledge because that book is so thick and the specific detail, I kid you not, is going to be on one sentence in there. OK, but that's half a mark for you to what that you're worrying and stressing about on there. When Shayla and I used to catch up after long days at work and I can tell you now, you'll be working on, on this sort of thing, eight o'clock at night, whatever. And we, we used to catch up and she, she used to get wound up on half a mark. And I was saying, oh, save, save your mind, save your mind on it. We can pop it down in the notes that it's something to pick up on. But would you agree on that, that half a mark, little things versus the big five, six, eight markers that uh, are the other yeah. fundamentals on there? Definitely. There's... there's... You always uh, find yourself fighting with this kind of mindset where you you actually don't want to lose that mark, but you actually know that if you spend too much time there, yeah, then you, you're losing many many more marks in a different question that mm. you could be actually you know nailing it quickly. Yeah. So I you know from practicing questions and and actually getting the right advice, I basically start understanding that I just need to move on. Basically, you know agree. it. If you know it then you do it if you don't know you move on and then yeah. if you have time to come back you you come back usually you don't <laughs> but <laughs> you know but you know you just move on you just move on and you get you try to get as many marks in the be very strict with time because time yeah. is a, you know this paper time is key you know 100 I, I completely agree I, that is another reason why i failed it first time where I did answer all of the questions, but it just wasn't in enough detail and I wasn't strict enough to move on. So it's a, a three hour exam and you've got 100 marks. It's 1.8 minutes per mark. So if you've got a 10 mark question, that means you've got 18 minutes to do it. And when it hits 18 minutes on the clock, you've got to move on. Because I read a piece online that imagine trying to pass an ACCA exam where well, you need 50. But what if you've only attempted 80 marks of it? OK, well, you're making your life significantly more difficult on there, whereas if you've attempted all 100 and done it to time and then you start to develop your actual strategy, being more specific than actually and being generic on there. If you write generic answers, you will not pass this exam. And it's one of the reasons why I failed it. Yeah, and, and don't spend too much time on, on one on one point because you make a point and move on. You make a point, you move on. And that's how you start getting your marks. And you know, you don't need to you're not gonna have a hundred. You don't need to have sixty. <laughs> we uh, went for a hundred. We were trying to get a hundred. <laughs> well, you need to get you need to, to work as hard as you can to get yeah. as as many marks as you can. Because, you know, sometimes you feel like, oh, maybe I'm going to have a 70, but unfortunately only comes 55, but that's enough to pass. Yeah. But if you nail for a 50, then perhaps, you know. <laughs> Happy nails on 50, that'd be all right. <laughs> if you nail for a 50, you might not get the 50. So get uh, always, yeah. always, always aspire a bit more mm. because you then you are in, your comf in, in a co more comfort zone. Yeah. And, and, and do be strict to the time. Be, be very dedicated be, be very um structured do your 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 notes like yeah. you know this this um cards that james was mentioning it was one of the tips that he gave me and he actually it super helped me because you know i could really quickly because we have a, such a massive book you can't yeah. re really be going to the textbook all the time so once you know your things maybe a couple of things you might forget so when you're doing a question or you want to before bedtime you just want to kind of quickly refresh a couple of things you have those cards and you just keep refreshing yeah and, and, they're, and they're in yeah. your language as well that's it so you know james's way of explaining advanced taxation is, is different to shayla's but but you, at least you're going to absorb it a lot better and yeah. and to add to that as well if you if you don't work in in a tax environment at work and maybe you've actually 
not done the tax paper in a long, long time, then with this exam, I have to get it on record that you've really got to go through that syllabus and really update your knowledge for the right tax years on there as well. I mean, I wouldn't do the tax paper, and this is referring to the March one, uh, for, the, for the UK paper in March, because the rates and allowances all change. So if you're gonna do it for the first time, do it in June, because then if anything was to go wrong, you've got September, December. But I know some students who do tax, for the UK paper, they do it in March. I just go, unless I was down to the time limits or anything on those lines, if you were to fail it, then you've got to go buy the new books, learn the new rates, new, no, new allowances, new rules. Oh, my word. Do yourself a favour and keep it simple on there, I would say. But uh, now, Shayla, are there any final words of wisdom, anything else in there that Students who are watching this around the world with their pen and paper, taking down all the notes we've talked about so far. Is there anything else you can think that comes to mind? We've got to get on record. Speak loud. So speak it loud when you're reading your things. Listening to your voice, you know, just kind of helps um, retain information. So speak it or try and teach a tax to someone. Maybe, you know, if, if you have someone patient to listen to you, <laughs> probably won't understand anything you're saying but you just pretend so mm. just just do whatever you you feel like you, this is going to help me but these these two tips that i just said now can make a, a huge difference yeah adding on top of everything we just said and be confident until the very last moment um until the very last word you're putting in the paper mm. just be confident that you know you're gonna pass it fantastic and just don't lose hope if someone here has failed it who's watching we've been there it's not a good day but just bring or consolidate those notes back into something that looks appealing and attractive for you to go back to that's the first thing that i did and then past more past papers first key thing reading the technical articles on there doing the questions to time the, these are the fundamental bread and butter things that if you, if you put that into play you've got a very good chance of getting the 50 plus that you're looking for. Just one more, one more thing. Of course, I yeah. think it's extremely, extremely important. Take breaks, take breaks. Um, don't study for three hours and like um, straight, unless you're doing a, um, an, an exam in, in, a, in um, ex exam conditions, mm. because um, sometimes we, you know, after a couple of hours or, let's say 45 minutes, um, your brain is not absorbing much. Yeah. So you do need to take a break. Uh, eat, eat, eat healthy, do exercise. That Those little things make a difference. Massive. Be happy uh, because with people around you, they can make a difference to, 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 your, to the way you feel. So don't think like you just have to study, just mm. take breaks as well. So. Oh, that absolutely spot on Shayla and if you've got any questions for myself or Shayla or just let us know how you got on in your advanced taxation exam be sure to leave us a comment below one of us will definitely get back to you on there and I really hope the tips that we've gone through today could make the difference as Shayla and I both know in just getting you over that 50 plus area the, the long nights the early starts the late finishes will trust me, all be worth it if you put these tips into practice. So I really hope you've enjoyed today's video. Make sure you give it a big like and thumbs up. And if you know anyone who's doing the advanced taxation paper, just be sure to share it with them because these little nuggets of information we've talked about today, again, could be the difference. And you might make their day. They could be sat having a cup of tea watching this and they go, that's, that's a pretty good point. No, I don't want to, I don't want to be in the forties like these two. I want to be in the sixties and that's what I'll be doing anyway. But <laughs> as ever on that bombshell, we'll see you next time. Thank you very Thank much. You.